Welcome to the show. I'm Danella, and here's what's happening now. This week, something out of a movie. We're going to talk about guns, drugs, oddly all legal. That's what we're going to talk about. Also, could you imagine being in prison in your hospital because you couldn't pay your medical bill? Well, it's happening to hundreds of thousands of people. We're going to talk about that in our world. But first, I have to start the show by talking about the fires in Southern California, sending prayers to everyone that is affected. Have you been watching this? It literally looks like Armageddon, shutting down major highways, homes, businesses, all being affected, and these winds, that's what's the big problem that's really making it difficult for firefighters, winds and dry terrain. So we're sending prayers out to everyone. We're asking for the firefighters to be protected, uh, all the neighbors that are helping each other out, um, and also for everyone that is affected. So that's how I want to start the show for today. So now, here is your political pop for Friday, December 8th. This week, the House of Representatives approved new legislation. This legislation loosens gun regulations. It's called concealed carry reciprocity. Basically, what it means is if you have a permit to carry a concealed weapon, you can do so now. Carry your concealed weapon across state lines. The NRA is overjoyed. This is something they've been fighting for for a very long time. Gun owners also happy about this. Here's the breakdown. Surprisingly, six Democrats supported the bill and 14 Republicans opposed the legislation. This is the first major firearm bill that Congress has voted on since the massacre in Las Vegas and Texas. And that was your political pop. And this week, man, it was pretty crazy. First, we're going to start with some good news for men. Yeah, good news for you. The Little Blue Pill has some competition. It's now going generic. Pfizer is going to introduce a white pill. Now you can can say the little white pill, not to be confused with other little white pills. But anyway, yeah, Pfizer is releasing this pill on Monday. Also, Teva Pharmaceuticals, I'm unfamiliar with them because I'm not big on pharmaceuticals, but they're also going to start selling their version of Viagra also on Monday. So here's what Pfizer is saying. They say that they're going to cut the price in half. Currently, Viagra is about $65 a pill. Expensive, fellas. Yeah. Well, now you can go generic. That goes down on Monday. I swear you got your guns, got your drugs, everything for the guys, right? Um, Here's another crazy story that happened this week. This one was shocking, but can I say before we talk about it, and I feel terrible, but as I watched it, I laughed. I know. I, I feel terrible. Let me tell you what happened. Some woman actually impersonated an American Sign Language interpreter. And the worst part about it, this lady is doing so at a press conference um, in Tampa for an arrest, a major arrest in a serial killer case. Can you believe this? Here's the woman. Her name is Darylin Roberts. She crashed the serial killer press conference. Shoulder to shoulder, who never left during the tough times who never quit on us. Can you believe this? And so the police are standing up there talking about their arrest. I'm telling you, this woman is signing and she's doing weird signing like this. And I mean, it was it was just completely disrespectful. And I felt bad for laughing because she looked crazy. Clearly, she has to have some type of problem. Apparently, she's been arrested several times before for fraud with one conviction. Through our investigation, and several police hours say later, it's not illegal. We will be charging Donaldson. Yeah, they say like that said, this isn't illegal. It's murder. just immoral. I would like to thank the Bureau of Alcohol. And let me just say, my cousin cannot hear. And every time, like I literally had this thought when I was trying to justify laughing at this because I said, you know, my cousin was born deaf. In fact, my grandmother was deaf. Um, she, she lost her hearing, was completely deaf. And when I had that rationale in my mind, you know who I thought of? I thought of that racist person that says this, I'm not racist. I have black friends. Am I that person? I might be that person. I mean, it's terrible. It's not funny. I shouldn't laugh. I feel terrible, terrible about it. Terrible about it. I really do. Also in the news, 
Did you guys hear about this? If you follow on Facebook, I posted in North Carolina, a county, the county is this one, Mecklenburg County. Someone hijacked their system, all this because an employee, a government employee, opened up an email attachment, let the hacker in, the hacker went wild, seized everything. Well, what happened? Well, deputies had to do this. They were forced to process inmates by hand. It's not funny. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like I'm just laughing at not like bad things. I feel terrible. Yeah. Uh, also, tax office. Yeah, they had to turn away electronic payments. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not funny. I don't know why I keep laughing at this. Building code inspectors had to switch to paper records. It was like 1970. I don't know what that was like. I know what the 80s were like. And people wrote things down a lot. And that's what it's like now. So yeah, um, the hacker, here's what the hacker wants. $23,000 to release the system. Yeah, and so the county government, they were like, no, we're not paying this hacker $23,000. Uh, the reason they say so is that it still would take days to get their computer systems up and running. And they're speculating that this hacker is either somewhere in the Ukraine or Iran. Crazy. Uh, meanwhile, if you're in Mecklenburg County, remember payments to the tax office. Yeah, they must be made by check, cash, or money order. Because they still want their money. Um, yeah. Yeah. And now we'll get into In Our World. This week, what we're talking about is hundreds of thousands of poor people detained in hospitals. Have you heard about this? It came out this week, a study, also the AP, they did a report on this as well, but a report released by the British think tank Chatham House, they reviewed nine studies on the issue, and what they found out is in Latin America and in Africa, hundreds of thousands of patients being held in hospitals because of lack of payment. Listen to some of these examples. One woman she was in the hospital. She was interviewed. She had her three-month-old son with her, still trapped in the hospital because she couldn't afford to pay $190. This is in Eastern Congo. That's crazy. Also, reports in Nigeria, a woman said she was chained to a urinal pipe. Let's shoot over to Kenya. Women there said that they were forced to have sex with hospital workers because they could not pay their bill. Could you imagine? This is happening in our world right now. Well, the World Health Organization, they have condemned it. The UN Health Agency acknowledged it has done nothing to stop these illegal detentions. I just cannot imagine. You know, and I say these stories to share with you again, just so we can know what's happening in our world. One, to know what we must stand up for and fight against these types of injustices, but also for us to know what we should be thankful for each day. I cannot imagine. Um, so that wraps up our show for this week. It was a crazy week. I swear, a crazy week. Um, it showed me overall that Americans, Americans love their guns and they love to carry their concealed guns all across America. And men, they like their men virile and they must be able to sustain an erection. However, women, you have no rights over your reproductive system. Where they do that at? Oh, right here where I live, America. Hey, before I wrap up, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have a new playlist on my YouTube channel and it's completely for you. And so the reason why I'm bringing it up to you is in January, I'm going to launch a series just every week because I release these videos every Monday. And every week I want it to be themed on a particular form of communication or a particular need. Um, it could be conflict resolution. It could be um, how to get over stage fright, um, working through jitters. It could be anything. Thing. And so I wanted to know you, yeah, you, what would you like me to talk about? I'm taking suggestions. I'm open to it. There's a lot that I can discuss, but I thought about, hey, 
Wouldn't it be great to kick off the new year and offer advice to you, literally to you, on something you want to know about that I can be helpful with? So please do so. Of course, you can leave it in the comments or feel free to email me if you want to be private. It's all good. You can email me at Danella at DanellaNow.com. I'd love to hear from you and we'll see what you guys come up with. Yeah, January is just around the corner. And in the meantime, you can check every Monday. Um, yeah, free tips for you, media tips to help you be a better communicator. And as always, I hope you have an incredible weekend and I'll see you next week.